Hey everyone, it's Jeff Salzenstein over at JeffSalzensteinTennis.com and I've got a great video for you today so stay tuned for this entire video so you can learn uh, some really cool stuff in the area of tennis and, and performance, how it can improve your performance. Now, a lot of times in my coaching I talk about windows and what I mean by that is you want to create an imaginary window whether you're serving or whether you're hitting a ground stroke and basically this window is going to go up and over the net and you want to hit the ball through the window. So if you're going to hit that laser low over the net, you're going to drive it low over the net and you're going to hit it through the window, you're going to break that window. If you want to hit a rainbow or a high arcing shot, obviously the window gets bigger that you're going to hit over. I mainly use this window with the drive shot and with the serve. So visualize that window uh, just over the net. Now. The reason I'm bringing up the window is because I have another window that I want to talk to you about and that has to do with helping you with your nutrition and your tennis, how it can help your tennis by having the right nutrition and it has to do with making sure that you get the food into your system at the right time at that right window of opportunity. So we're going to go talk about that right now. All right, so just finishing a workout. A lot of people, a lot of players and coaches ask me about nutrition and, and the number one, one of the number one things I can help people with as a nutritional therapy practitioner is helping people get that great recovery meal after their workouts, after their match. And there's a lot of questions out there, confusion about what to do. So I just want to clear it up for you right now. Now, nutrition is my passion uh, besides tennis. I really got into it later in my career. It helped me break the top 100 for the first time, helped me perform better in my 30s than in my 20s. So you finish your workout, you finish your match, and you want to be prepared. You want to have a, a protein drink uh, powder in your racket bag, and you want to have some type of a food bar. Now, the key is the quality of both uh, products. You want to have a protein powder that is very high quality. You want to have a snack bar or some fruit, obviously high quality fruit. Organic is preferable. But my uh, bar of choice is, <clears throat> excuse me, Laura Bar. I don't have a sponsorship with them. I just like how they taste. I like that it's whole food. Uh, basically it's fruits and nuts and uh, you actually get some good fat in there that comes from the nuts and uh, a good source of carbohydrates. So I like the Lara bar and there's many different varieties. There are other bars out there but I tried to get the ones without the artificial flavors. Then you've got the protein powder and right here we got J. Rob egg, egg, egg white protein. I like whey protein, I like egg white protein. Uh, rice protein works for some as well. I picked J. Rob again, not sponsored by them, not selling them, not endorsing them, because when you look at the ingredients, they have there are minimal ingredients going on in J. Rob products, and there are others out there that you want to research. But watch out for the protein powders that have a lot of artificial flavors. You just have to learn to read food labels, and uh, maybe sometime I'll do a video to talk about that. But basically, what you want to do is you want to take a scoop of protein powder, have some water prepared. Put a scoop in here, maybe even two scoops if you like. Shake it up. Shake it up and you've got your protein powder on the go. So what happens is there is muscle breakdown and inflammation when you finish playing tennis. And you want to be able to repair as quickly as possible. And one of the best ways to recover and repair is getting the right nutrients in the body. So the protein is going to give you the amino acids that you need to help you with your recovery. So you're going to use that protein powder, you're going to drink this because it's a lot easier to drink than it is to eat a big steak after a meal, after a, after a match, excuse me. And then you've got your bar to complement that or your fruit. So go with a protein powder that's high quality and go with a bar or some fruit and you should be good to go in that window of opportunity. You want to get this in the first 20 to 30 minutes. So don't play your match and then go to work right after. Prepare ahead of time. Have this with you in your racket bag. After you take your shower, in the car, right after you get off the court, make this up, take it with you to go, and uh, you'll be good to go. So hopefully you enjoyed this video on nutrition. I wanted to get off of the court and show you how you can improve your recovery. And uh, we'll see you at the next video. Leave a comment below and tell me what you thought of this video and if you learned anything about taking care of that window of opportunity. We'll talk to you soon and thanks again.